something else that I found very mm-hmm. confusing um, yes. when when I was becoming a, a real estate agent was um, what do I call myself? Mm. And there's a lot of different names um, that that realtors go by. Um, do you ever have any confusion with that? You know, I I actually get confused about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bonnie and I are both real estate brokers, real estate agents, and realtors. All the above applies to us. Yes. Actually, for us, real estate broker and real estate agent is the same um, thing. The same thing. Yeah. It's, what's that word? When you can go back and forth. I can't. <laughs> there's, a, there's a specific word for that, but. I'll think of it. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Interchangeable. Interchangeable. Something like That's that. Good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's yeah. good. But realtor does mean something. Mm-hmm. Um, we are both members of the National Association for Real Estate Agents. Yeah. So we have a little pin. I don't have, have mine on. Do you have a pin? No. no, I don't have it on right now. Really. I don't think um, anyone really is. <laughs> it's in my purse. But um, if you don't, if you're not a part of this, um, this, this association association if you're not a part of the association you cannot call yourself a realtor. you can't and you cannot use that logo that our logo yes you so because we pay a lot of money for that yes we, we do <laughs> yeah it's really just being a member of the association we don't do anything different you know no it's no 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 then yes so but just so if you're ever wondering what what each different mm-hmm title goes for they're all they all mean the same thing yeah and I know like I come sometimes I'm like oh I'm a real estate broker I'm a real estate agent or you'll hear us talking on these we might sometimes say broker we might sometimes say agent we might sometimes say realtor so it's probably really confusing but it's just because like we don't even know what to say sometimes yes I just tell people I sell homes <laughs> yeah that's good that's I a sell, good thing to I sell, say I sell homes that's what yeah. I do there are all these like accreditations that you can get where you can take classes and um you can be like a buyer specialist or a seller specialist or a senior whatever specialist or yes. a first time home buyer specialist a relocation specialist and luxury buying luxury home specialist and okay there are classes and you know you do need to do the class yes um to get those accreditations, accreditations. uh before you did this did you ever did that make me choose right. a, a, a real estate right. agent? No, it did not have any bearings on who I chose. Yeah, and I, I actually never even like noticed anything like that. Really. No, I did not. I never noticed anything like that. To me, it just seems like a way to have us spend more money. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you know, because it's there. The classes are not hard, or they're not. It's not like they're it's like maybe like maybe like a two hour class or something like that that you take or you take online or something like that I, I and I'm not sure about all this but I know that you know it's not a very intensive thing I mean you can get so many different accreditations I haven't given much thought to an accreditation yet though I, I do find it interesting um I, I've, I've thought about um one taking a class on foreclosures taking a class on yes. short sales because I, I don't know enough about them to yeah. properly help someone so I think that might be good but Absolutely. to be a specialist in that area I don't know if that's necessary for me but um, to understand the process I think would be very good um, and then I think there's another accreditation with working with seniors senior mm-hmm. citizens yeah um, it's a, you know there's it's a very different experience, I think, when you're working with them and they, they're downsizing and moving into some sort of home versus, um, you know, someone, a first-time home buyer. It's probably a very different experience yes. to work with them and different questions come up and different Absolutely. things we, we need to know. So, again, I think the classes have merit. Yes. But I don't know if I would need um, someone to be accredited for me to work with them. Exactly. I don't want to sound like the info, the information is not important because I, I do think that's really important. Like to learn about how to work with all these different people or different things, like you said, like foreclosures, short sales, you know, seniors, yes. veterans, um, blah, 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 whatever. It's important to, to get that learning. I just don't think we need to, pay, to pay for accreditations. Unless it is like a super intense thing and you are like, an expert. Fair enough. I don't know. Fair enough. I, I, I see where someone might from. come after me about for this, but I don't know. <laughs> but it's true, so I'm not making anything up.